This week's player profile, we will also feature Jalen King, a senior defensive back from Huntsville, Alabama. And uh, Jalen joins us now. And uh, Jalen says that Cam Newton is his friend and that he loves Cam Newton. And Jalen, we welcome, we welcome you to uh, this week's player profile. Thanks for joining us. Oh, no problem. Thank you for having me on. I really appreciate uh, the opportunity. We are happy to have you on. We, we've really enjoyed watching you play over the last few years. Uh, you know, freshman year, you made some big plays. And sophomore, you made some big plays. Last year, uh, just big plays have seemed to be – and shoot, the, the one game that we've played this year with uh, Oklahoma Panhandle State, a big interception in the end zone, uh, you just seem to always be the right place at the right time back there in that defensive secondary. Yes, sir. Uh, that's that's one thing that our uh, defensive coordinator, uh, Coach Pearson, he uh, preaches. You know, uh, we're all about the ball. We got that on every wristband he gives us uh, every year. And uh, just be all about the ball. So uh, that's something that carries through uh, each player, really, throughout, uh, throughout our whole defense is, you know, just competing to get the ball. You know, whoever gets the ball first, you know, we got like a little competition of uh, who's going to get the first turnover. So, uh, that's really all our, um, our mantra of the defense is the money team. And, you know, the football is the money, so we got to get the money. You know, we got to get the bag every week. So that's really our mantra. So that is is that the chain then that you received that they had the Benny bag on it? Yes, sir. So uh, so last year we did the uh, the turnover mask, and we that was kind of like a unique spin for us. But uh, this year with uh, all the COVID restrictions, uh, we didn't want to, you know, pass around the mask and, you know, it touch other pe- other players' face. So we did the uh, dog chain. So uh, this year uh, the dog chain just represents the same thing as uh, the turnover mask last year. It's just a, a, another way to uh, give the glory to that one person who called the turnover or who picked up the ball like a fumble recovery or something like that. I had suggested to Coach Pearson maybe a bottle of hand sanitizer and so you could raise it up and give a couple squirts in your hands or something like that. But, but the, uh, chain, the chain works well, too. Oh, yeah, that hand sanitizer uh, idea, that would actually probably got us on Sports Center. <laughs> it was like, oh, look at this thing, we're getting hand sanitizer squirts. But uh, me and uh, – since you're a wrestling fan, uh, me and Coach Pearson, uh, I gave him an idea talking about, like, a turnover belt. You know, yes. we have an OU on it. But uh, it was kind of like with all the – with all the COVID restrictions with uh, different different companies, you never know how long it would take for it to actually get into us. So we were like, you know what, we already have the dog chain. Because we had the dog chain my freshman year. So we also – okay, so we had – defense, we had the dog chain, and then we had like a, a sledgehammer. Yes. So um, uh, I remember the sledgehammer was for the guy that worked hard that whole entire week. And who who deserves it for that uh, that particular Saturday, and then the dog chain was just another form of the uh, turnover turnover mask. So uh, it's just a different spin on things, just to give uh, you know different players a, another incentive to get it. You know, because once you put that dog chain on, it kind of like it's kind of like getting an A on a test or something like you you just flaunt it around, and then the whole the whole OU su- supporter of uh, the supporters that's our in the stands and. The, at OU, they just, you know, cheer you on while you have the dog chain on. So it's just a little incentive. No, I like that. I, I wish they had that for broadcasters. But uh, <laughs> unfortunately, I don't think that would happen. And it would probably be a long time before this broadcast would. But that's neither <laughs> here nor there. Uh, so, Jalen, from Alabama, what, what brought you to Ottawa University? What sold you on the university? Well, um, obviously my senior year um, – I was getting like little interest, interest like by like uh, smaller Division ones, just to just to walk on, just to try to get uh so they so I can earn like a scholarship, you know, throughout like my second year, like my sophomore junior year. But honestly, I didn't want to pay. Like you know, I don't. The whole thing with me is like I wanted to go somewhere that a team like actually wanted me. So um, I honestly put my senior senior highlights on Twitter. And Coach P, he found me, and he, um, he he sent me a DM, and honestly, uh, the rest is history. You know, he was the he was the first, well, he was the second coach to really give me an offer, but the first coach, uh, they ended up, you know, 
making a coaching change. So I really didn't hear from him much. So Coach P was really like the first official offer that I had. So I had to stay loyal. And then right after that, uh, I started getting offers from other KCAC schools. So it was kind of like, I felt like they were just trying to compete with Ottawa. So it was just like uh, Coach P showed me a lot of love. Um, he kept it real with me because he was like, uh, he was like, you might, you could play immediately, but honestly, we have two seniors here right in front of you. I'm just going to be honest, you're going to have to work your way in to uh, get some playing time. So I just liked how um, how real he was with me from the from the get go, and um, he's like, uh, he's he. Right now, obviously, I'm a senior, so I've seen I've seen him from freshman year to senior year. So um, he's just a a great representation of a man. Uh, you know, he's he's a great husband to his wife. He's obviously a great um, great great dad to Tommy and Jackson. So uh, it's just a, the way he represents himself as a man and as obviously as a friend because he, he's only like ten years older than me. So. Uh, <laughs> So it's like it's just it's just the way he carries himself. That's so basically Coach P is the reason I'm here. So Oh, oh okay, so my dogs are gonna bark here. I have to we'll, 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 okay. It's okay guys. Come here. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I know, I know, I know, I know. Come here. Hey. Come here. Come here. Come here. Rod, Oz, come on. Oswald, Oswald, Oswald. You're ruining everything, Oswald. You're bringing, I'm trying to get, trying to get, make radio gold here, Oswald. You're ruining it. <laughs> All right. Will you, can you guys be quiet? Just a few more minutes. No. Okay. Hey. Come here, buds. Come here. Come here. Shh. 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 Hey. hey, come here. Hey, hey. Uh, Oswald, Rodney, come here. Hey, can you let him out, please? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. So, all right. Well, so we'll get back here. Um, so, Let's see here. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know if I can get back on track now. Um, all right. So, uh, what, Jalen? What would be your uh, greatest uh, memory at, so far as being a, a player for Ottawa University? All right. Uh, obviously, it would be probably my first big play. So, uh, a lot of people don't know this, but. Um, my first big play was against Southwestern. Um, it was like trips away. Um, I was I was guarding the backside post, and he, they threw it, and I made a diving diving deflection. But my favorite play was my from my freshman year. The game after that, we played uh, St. Mary's. That's when I got my first interception, like my first career interception here. And um, it was on the same play, basically. It was a uh, it was trips away, and then they did a – well, actually, it was empty. So, they did it. It was empty. And then it was two receivers on my side, three receivers on the other side. And um, the number – the receiver on the inside, closest to the tackle, he uh, did an hour out, and my receiver did a post. So, uh, I read the post. He kind of he kind of threw it on his back shoulder, so it gave me an easier uh, pathway to go intercept it. And then the rest was history. I think I got like a 37-year – 37 yard interception return on that. Uh, a guard clipped my legs, and you know, but obviously that was my first play, and that's uh, it was uh, it was mon monumental because like freshman year it was kind of like hard because I was I was so um, I was so adamant about trying to you know compete to get some playing time, you know, because I was behind uh, Coach Riley, I was behind uh, Devontae Riley, and he was the senior that was before me, so. I was uh, it was, it just felt so good because you know obviously I was just a, um, I was honestly just a uh, special teams player. I would run down on kickoff, uh, try to make plays there. I would run down on punt, try to make plays there. Anywhere I could get some plays in. So uh, that was like the big uh, big turning point for my career because it gave me um, extreme confidence going from uh, from there on forward. 
So what, what are plans do you, uh, do you have once uh, you finish your time at Ottawa university? What, what, what will Jalen King be bringing out and, and, uh, and putting a turnover chain on for? <laughs> well, uh, obviously if I, if I have the opportunity to, you know, go to a different level in any, any, uh, any, any league or any form or fashion, obviously I would love to do that. But my main goal is not really my main goal, but, it is and it isn't. Uh, uh, I would probably uh, be a barber. Uh, obviously, I uh, I cut I cut a lot of people here in town. Uh, mostly, I cut people that go to school here. I cut most of the kids on the football team. So uh, that's how I make my side money. Other than uh, being a, I work in a bookstore as well. So really, probably being a barber because uh, I I would like to think I'm pretty good at being a barber. So yeah. That's pretty awesome, actually. You know, the, I, that's that's one field that is always that's always in need. Is you got to have good barbers. There, there's no doubt. I, I've had a few uh, bad jobs done to my hair, but uh, yeah, a good barber that that's that's hard to beat right there. That's that's pretty awesome, and it, you know, and I think in some ways it it's a good way to give back to you, to a community too because. Uh, you get an opportunity to be around so many people. Yeah, because um, growing up, uh, my barber was kind of like a big influence on why I'm a barber right now. Because right before I, uh, right before I came to OU, um, he taught me basically the ins and outs of how to be a barber. Uh, my dad know how to cut hair a little bit. Uh, he taught me the basics, but my barber uh, back home he taught me, you know, basically how to cut hair, you know, professionally and. Uh, I would like to thank him a lot for that. But uh, one of the other reasons, I just wanted to make an impact inside my community because, you know, uh, a haircut could bring a lot of uh, smiles to a lot of people's faces, you know, that before and after, you know, that, that, that feeling you get out, when you get out of the chair, that feeling is like, you know, immaculate. You think you're the man, you know, you, you don't wear a hat because you want people to see your haircut. So it's just different things like that. You know, I just want to bring smiles to somebody's faces other than, you know, uh, other than the norm of like, you know, just trying to talk to people. Cause obviously you can talk to a person while they're in the chair. So just bringing smiles to people's faces as much as I can. Well, and so far you've done that at, on the campus of Ottawa university, you've left a few frowns with some of the opposition, which that's okay. We're good with that. And that's the goal. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you taking time out as, as we get ready real quick though, what's it mean to you to get, be able to get back onto the field to, to play again? It's, it's been a while. Say that again. I'm sorry. What What's it mean to you to be able to get back out onto the field? It It's been well. It's been since the first game of the season. Uh, this has got to be uh, a nice feeling to be able to play again today. Oh, for sure. So uh, last week was our first week back practicing because obviously we had to quarantine. Um, but it felt like it felt like going to like the first day of school again. You know, you just wanted to go out there and make some plays. You know. It, because uh, it, the, being, us being quarantined, it actually makes us uh, not take it as, as for granted. I mean, obviously the seniors doesn't take it for granted because it's our last year, you know, we only get uh, 11 games. So we weren't going to take it for granted. That's how, I feel like that's how every senior is uh, every year. But it, it, it shows the freshmen, sophomore, and juniors to not take it for granted because like that, it can be taken from us. You know, um, some conferences aren't even playing football. so. Uh, we got to take uh, – that was our big thing, our first first game, because we, we knew what we were going into, you know. Uh, we could uh, we could only play this one game, and then, boom, uh, we had to sit out. Obviously, we've been sitting out for almost like, – we haven't played a game in almost a month. So, uh, we definitely don't want to take it for granted. But uh, going into this next week's game, uh, I think it's going to be like the first game all over again. We're going to have so much energy. Uh, we're going to have so much juice. And uh, I think that's the biggest thing of uh, us sitting down for so long. It just makes us not take it for granted. So going 100% every play, every game. Jalen, good luck with the game. And uh, we will hope to talk to you again before the season's out. Oh, yeah. Thank you for having me on. And, uh, it was nice to meet you. Hey, it's a pleasure to meet you. And uh, I I'm looking forward to, uh, to seeing you in action. And hopefully uh, this uh, – will. Maybe this will get back to your folks. Uh, if hope, do, you, do, you, do your folks listen in? Do they, they check out the video streams? 
Oh, yes, sir. So uh, they definitely watch every – because, you know, they're from Alabama, so it would kind of be like a, a stroke just to get to a Ottawa University game. But uh, they try to make one game every year. But um, obviously with the pandemic going on right now, we don't know how that's going to go. And with us, you know, they never know when we're going to play because, you know, we could be quarantined one week. We could not be. So, uh, yeah, they, they definitely tune in, you know, every Saturday, every game. So – uh, the cheer on the Braves. So uh, I want to give a special shout out to the to the family back home. Uh, Alvin King, my dad, Tracy Tracy King, my mom, and Justin King, my little brother. Uh, I really uh, love all love all of them. And my my brother Jordan King, he's on a mission a mission trip right now. And my older sister Tierra King. So uh, definitely look up to my two older siblings. But uh, trying to set a great example for my little brother Justin King. Well, to the King family, you've got a fantastic young man who is uh, joining us, and not only just on the football field, but in in outside of the football field also. And uh, good luck with everything, and uh, we will uh, we'll talk to you again soon. All right, thank you, man. Really appreciate it. That's Jalen King. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll have our weekly chat with head coach Kent Kessinger. You're listening to us on twelve twenty and 103.7 FM KOFO and KOFO.com.